All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today we are gonna be showcasing the new Extreme Z Awakening for the Tech South Supreme Kai Boo, better known as Tech Buff Boo. And before we get into it, we are gonna quickly talk about his details. If you guys already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead like 30 seconds to a minute and we'll get into the gameplay. Okay, so starting with his leader skill, it's tech types, Q plus two, HP, attack and defense plus 70%, obviously, Still not a very good leader skill, honestly, but um, it's much better than it was before. I think the old leader skill was like tech types, attack and defense plus 60%, and that's it. So yeah, much better, still not great. From there we have a super attack, which raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense. And his passive is key plus 3, attack plus 100%. Raises attack and defense by up to 100%, the more HP remaining, the greater the stats boost, and reduces damage received by 20% when HP is 80% or more, and recovers 5% HP at the end of turn in which attack was received. So essentially, if you have 100% HP, then he should be getting Q plus 3, attack plus 200%, and defense plus 100%, and obviously, the lower your HP is, the lower his boost will be. And his links are Majin, Brutal Beatdown, Berserker, Big Bad Bosses, Infinite Regeneration, The Wall Standing Tall, and Fierce Battle. And his categories are Resurrected Warriors, Majin Boost Saga, Transformation Boost, Artificial Life Forms, Majin, and Power Absorption. So that is everything you gotta know about the EZA Boo. And from there, let's jump in. We got the double supports on the first rotation. He's linked up with the STR Cooler. And he's starting with 98,435 defense, which is okay. It's not the worst I've seen. It's not the best I've seen. I just think it's average. And uh, you got to keep in mind, though, he does get 20% damage reduction. So that's going to help a lot with his tanking. And he also increases defense for one turn on super. So if he supers first and you're above 80% HP, even though his defense is not the highest, he should be still somewhat tanky he's not gonna be the best tank but not too bad okay so that being said we are gonna get a couple attacks in the beginning from Yamcha not really sure how well he's gonna tank those because we do have type disadvantage but we'll see we'll see okay so here we go first attack first turn let's see what happens okay we took 17 87 so clearly tanking pretty well even with the type disadvantage Got a crit there, 3.16 million, and Yamcha's dead. So, uh, pretty good first turn, I would say. Pretty good first turn, 2.8 million attack with the double supports. Um, could have been higher for sure, right? Like, I'm not that impressed yet, but um, if you saw what this guy was doing before, right? Like, I remember when I was using him, I think he was, like, barely breaking a million attack or something like that. So... Now he's getting up to 2.8, so it's almost triple. So as far as an improvement goes, it is a massive, massive improvement. So, uh, so far, yeah, I, I'm, uh, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I'm not gonna say, oh my God, he's broken, or oh my God, I can't believe like how crazy this EZA is. It's not as crazy, at least so far, as some of the other EZAs I've seen. But that being said, he's also at level one links. He's uh, also got no skill orbs or anything like that. He's basically just bare, like just Extreme Z Awaken and that's it. So he definitely could be uh, even more impressive if, you know, we spend some time on him. I don't really know if I'm going to be, you know, spending the time to level up his links and all that stuff. I mean, eventually I'll probably get to it. But uh, he's one of those units that I'll probably just use every once in a while. And uh, he is going to be really good when I do use him, right? So on this turn, we got the Kid Boo link and... Holy crap, okay, so easily over 3 million attack there, a ton of damage, almost actually just one shot Tien there, not quite, but we came kind of close. So offensively, as you can see, he is uh, putting up some big numbers, man. I think recently, as I've said a lot, and actually in recent videos, um, I think that we've become a little bit spoiled because the power creep has been real with a lot of recent releases, right? Like, look at tech ultimate gohan or the int angel golden frieza so on and so forth um you know lr vegito this guy right here lr buhan like these guys are absolutely ridiculous so i think as far as damage numbers go 
um, our, our perception of like what is good has become a little bit skewed. And I do see some people in the comments right now saying, oh, he doesn't hit that hard. 2.8, 3.4, what is that? But you got to think about the fact that, number one, he's not Dokkan Fest, right? Number two, um, he's a very old... Why am I getting so many Uber Eats notifications? What is, what is that? Is is Android 18 um, at ordering like a bunch of food right now? Anyways, um, <laughs> totally lost my train of thought now. I was, I was talking about something and then I saw the Uber Eats notification and now I have no idea what I actually wanted to say. Um, oh yeah, so yeah, keep in mind that he is a very old unit that got an Extreme Z Awakening and the fact that he's doing over 3 million damage, I actually think is very impressive. Um, so yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm not gonna go so uh, go as so, go so far as to say, yo, that Uber Eats thing threw me right off. Okay, now I can't even talk. Um, I'm not gonna say you know he's like oh absolutely broken or anything like that, but I would say he's a very very good Extreme Z Awakening. Um, let's see, his defense is now 131,000. Okay, so with the Kid Boo as well as the support from the cooler, 131,000, which is really good. And then he's getting 20% damage reduction, and he's also raising defense on his super. So yeah, we're not gonna be taking any damage here. There, there's no way that this Vegeta can hurt us. Even if he supers us, like now, we're gonna take 11 damage. So there you go, guys, there you go. Defensively, can still hold up. Like I said, I don't think he's the best tank out there, but I do think he's a very solid tank. And um, as long as you're not, you know, taking a super from a really strong type disadvantage enemy, like for example, you know, in the LGE event, if you're taking a super from MUI Goku, yeah, you're probably still gonna get slapped, right? Like that's still gonna, he's still gonna kick your ass. But um, for most enemies, especially enemies with type disadvantage, like this Vegeta right here, uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about his defense that much because he's still gonna be getting some good defense, 100k to 130k ish. Um, even higher maybe if you have max link levels or even like just decent level link levels and um, Offensively, you know, he does he does put up some big numbers man. He does uh, at, least, at least to me. He has been very impressive. So now we got the Kid Boo plus the Turles and uh, As you can see he's starting off with max key every single time I mean he got the supports, but even without the supports he would still have nine key So it's not really gonna be an issue either way and we should be getting a little bit higher of an attack stat here. I'm gonna say 3.6. Oh, oh, never mind. Wait, hold on. Cooler last time was giving us 30% attack. Uh, Turles should give us 40%. So the attack stat should have been. Wait, is it? Was it? Was it a little bit higher? Did I remember wrong? Oh, maybe it was 3.4 before. Now it's 3.5. Yeah, I think I think I just remembered the numbers wrong. So yeah, 3.5 million. That that's that's quite good, man. That that's quite good. So we're gonna do like one or two more rotations here. Honestly, I think you guys have seen pretty much everything there's to see about this unit. He's not gonna really get stronger. He's not gonna, you know, like get more defense. Like he doesn't stack, right? It's just you know once uh, he gets that one uh, defense increase for one turn every single every, every single time he supers. And um, that's gonna make him pretty pretty tanky, but he's not gonna be stacking defense for the entire fight like some units do. So essentially, the defense that you see is gonna be the defense that you get. The damage number you see is gonna be the damage you get, and uh, it's it's quite good. Now, some people might complain about the HP restriction, right? So I, I, I can see some people being like, oh, you know, he's not that good because like he's gonna be losing a lot of his buff on his passive when you fall below a certain amount of HP. And that is valid. I do think that's a valid... Ooh, okay, we got hit pretty hard there. Oh, okay, Big Bad Boss has just kicked in. Big Bad Boss has just kicked in. Oh, cra yeah, oh, damn, okay. So I'm so used to running Big Bad Boss's units with um, max link levels these days, like uh, this guy right here, like the cooler. Um, and it, that, that like I forgot that there's actually an HP restriction that, that's on, on that on that link right so since he has level 1 links um, we need to be below 80% HP to actually you know get that boost so um, yeah damn look at that so we had big bad bosses for a second there 
and his attack went over four million. That's uh, that that that's that's a lot of a lot of attack for a non Dokkan Fest EZA. Oh crap! Okay, I didn't realize we we're gonna get a Dokkan attack. So yeah, I would have wanted to save that for the for the buff boo, but you know what? What can you do? Sometimes uh, you're talking on on camera and you. <laughs> You know, don't pay attention, and something like this happens. Um, is there anything else to say about the buff? I'm trying to think. Um, I don't think so. Uh, based on what I've seen, he hits really hard. He has really good defense. Not the best defense, as you can see. Like we, a few of those supers actually hit us pretty hard, right? Like we actually took some good damage on some of those supers. But overall, I think his defense is just fine. It's actually better than still like the majority of units out there. And uh, he should hold his own in most events. Like, I would feel pretty safe about bringing him into, you know, Super Battle Road, even maybe Extreme Super Battle Road. I still, you still gotta be careful with him, obviously. But, um, that being said, he should help you out quite a bit. Especially with the, the, the damage, of course, hitting really hard. Um, good damage reduction, 20% is, is not bad. And then the healing, the 5% healing is also pretty, pretty clutch, right? Like, it's not a ton, but... Um, if you're running like a full boo team or something like that, with like this guy, with uh, boo tanks, with uh, boo, boo piccolo, and and so on and so forth, man, like pretty much all the boos, almost all the boos at, at least, can heal you in some way, right? So, if you're running a full boo team with uh, all the people healing, like that team is pretty much immortal. Like that team is almost unkillable. And a bunch of them are super tanky too, right? Like boo, boo tanks, for example, like just basically can't die after a few supers so um yeah i'm i'm actually excited to run that team now i should do a showcase of that team i probably will yeah no i already did a showcase of the team before like a majin power team um but we were missing a few pieces right that jp had like we didn't have the tech the buff boot with the with the easy a um and what else are we missing right now good boo doesn't have an easy a either and uh, we don't have the awakening for the fit boo so yeah that team could definitely be improved but it is so freaking good and it's it's as i, I think i titled the video actually this team is basically immortal because that's kind of what it is like <laughs> it just doesn't die it just heals so much and it's so tanky um definitely one of my favorite teams in the game right now and it just got even better with this buff boo easy a but anyways guys that is probably gonna be the showcase not much more to see here you guys have seen plenty um he's an excellent excellent unit very very impressive in my opinion let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about him and uh as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger yo <laughs> you guys hear that right now that's my little brother upstairs moving his chair around and it's really really freaking annoying anyways um until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.